Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jared at Three Cs. You can see we're working on the Beta 125s. These are the two race editions that we just picked up for Brax and uh, Lex. Um, and Lex was riding his, and it was running kind of funky. So I just cleaned the carb on it. It's back together. But I also pulled the rad valve cage. Yeah, come on in. Just just to kind of have a look at it. Let me try to give you guys a view. And these are just the reed pedals here. You can see the corner here. They're starting to lose it. Let me focus there, right there. It's starting to chip apart. So I have a, I had a set here at the shop and I thought I would just film me putting these on. So let's give you guys the basics. So the, the pedals are kind of a wear item. It's gonna happen, especially with somebody faster riding it. They're just, they're getting worked all the time. So this is the kit right here. If you order the V-Force kit from us, from Moto, can't say it, Moto Tassinari. This is everything that came in the kit, four new pedals, a tool, and then two sets of directions, and then some new little V-shaped bracing that, that goes in there. So that's everything that comes in the kit. Um, let's just go over one quick thing real quick before we take this apart. As you can see that this is offset in the cage here. So I'm just gonna put a line, and you don't have to do this, but um, let's keep things simple. So right there. It's just that side stays with that side. And I left this out here to show this. So let me get these bolts lined up here. Yeah, you can stay there. I'll turn it toward you. So right here. Yeah, man, that's not gonna work, is it? For viewing. Um, inside of there, it's lined up. So you can see this. If I had it this way, it would be offset. Here, you know what, stay right there. Here, good. let's just show the manual. I was hoping I'd do it in there, but it's too dark in here. You can see no, it's got the ribbing and it's not letting a good airflow. Okay is, is the way we had it. So that's why I marked that. We wanna make sure that we know that it's offset in there. So I'm gonna set this aside. This really isn't part of the job. And neither are the instructions. So um, this is a cool tool they give me. I suppose if you wanted, you could push on this pretty hard to because we're trying to get the center cage out of the outer. And you can see these little tabs, there's four on each side. And so this is kind of just like a wedge. We don't care about the old pedals anymore, so we're gonna kind of pry against them. I'm just gonna kind of put this in there a little bit. And I'm just kind of creating some space. I'm not like, I'm not ripping on this. I'm not trying to break it. We just wanted to get some separation. So I'm gonna kind of push a little bit. Okay, the whole thing popped. Oh, okay. Our gimbal failed. But um, you can see it started to pop right there. So the tool did its job. You can see it's starting to push out. So I'm gonna push it the rest of the way out and then the pedals will probably fall out at this point. So, or at least the outside ones will. So, yep, there's the, the bottom one right there. And then the top one, they just fall off, watch. So you can just do that. We're gonna set the outside ones right there. Um, and these are tapered and we're more worried about this when we reinstall. But let me show you. So the outside are more just all black and the inside, you can kind of see the carbon fiber mesh there so that's another giveaway because here's a new one it's kind of black on the back side and then there's the mesh on the inside so um but that's only two of them so we got to get to the is the gimbal still not working yeah it's pretty messed up okay so um we got to get to the inside ones and so let's grab this little screwdriver and so they tell you and this is kind of tricky th these little wedges are in here there's two one on each side one there and one here so they, they kind of say like, just kind of put it in here at a 45 and try to like, that's why they give you new ones. You're gonna destroy these, trying to get them out. You're trying to wedge it out. But if you get a small enough screwdriver and you can't see in there because lighting and life. But if I get on the back side of this down in here, I can kind of push on it a little bit. So I'm kind of pushing a little bit. I kind of went eh, up that way and you can kind of see it's starting to come. I don't have the best tool here on the counter, but I'm gonna use a set of these side cutters. See if I can't start to pull on it a little bit. Eh, I'm chewing it apart. So we're just gonna keep pushing it out here on this back side. Actually, the method worked really good. It shot all the way out. So there's one wedge, and then now we're gonna get the second wedge down in there. And just so you know, they're flush when they're in. Yeah. Sorry, we're trying to make sure everybody knows. Okay, good. So then we'll take this again. I'm just gonna push it in there. It seems to be a better method than the pry from the outside. Probably gonna shoot out again, maybe, hopefully. 
Yeah. Okay, there goes that one. So at this point, our inside pedals should be free. So I can kind of push them together. Taking our time here. There's one. And then there's the second one. You can see they're all the same. They have the same notches and the same four grooves all down inside of there. So it's all the same. Um, so now we'll get ready for reassembly. All right, now we're gonna reassemble. We've got our pedals ready. So cave is going toward the cage. So we gotta put them back to back because that's gonna go in the center. I'm just gonna drop them down in there real quick and then we're gonna kind of fine tune them. So we need to get, let me just show you on the outside what I'm trying to do there. I'm trying to line those pedals up inside so that they're on those pegs like that. Yep, that's what I'm trying to do on the inside. So um, let me stick my finger down in there and kind of hold them apart. Try to keep them on their little pegs. And I know that it's super dark in here. At least the footage looks like it has been. We're gonna just kind of take this, my little wedge, and you can see one side's a 90 and one side is not. So this is the outside. I'm just gonna kind of work it down in there. And it takes a minute. You gotta make sure you get it down low enough to catch the groove there. Okay, it's starting to go in, starting to catch it. Our gimbal is about to be retired. So this one's going in nicely. It's so hard to see down in there. It's going in nice. Everything's looking really good down in there. You can see, yeah, there you go. Kind of see that wedge is going in like it's supposed to. The cage, the pedals are all in their spots. They're pretty, they're pretty stiff though, so. That one's nice and flush on that side. And now that the, the pedals are held still, this side should go a little bit easier. I'm gonna kinda, you can see there's a groove that's catching um, this groove here down on the inside. So that's what that's where it's riding on is there. So you can't just like stick it in there. It's not good enough. You gotta get it down into that groove. You gotta get it caught in the groove and then kind of tap it in. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So the inside's done. Okay, and then this is we're gonna start reassembling here. So we gotta start paying attention to our marks here. So get those pedals out of the way, take our new ones, we're going to lay one on the outside here nicely, and the taper is going in, that's fine, may not be able to see it at all, it's okay, it's good, grab the second one, slide it in, and this is where my line here and my line here are going to match up, I'm going to take it, set it down, Go like this. I like to set them down when I do it. That way my pedals don't fall out of place. Starting to go in like I want it to. It just snapped back into place. So that was a rebuild on the Moto Tenarsi V Force 4R Reeds. Little make us little 125 run a lot better. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the ride.